Steve, you uh, rejoined the club in the summer and back in your old role as under-18s manager. How has it been settling back into the old office? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's nice to be back amongst familiar people. Obviously, it's a new group of uh, lads, which quite a few I knew from me being here previous and taking them in the afternoons. So, yeah, it's, um, it's a lovely club and I'm delighted to be back. Today we're seeing your group train in a joint session with the under-21s and yourself and Peter Grant taking part of the session each. Is that something that's a regular occurrence at the moment? Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing that is different to when I was here before. We had a real big uh, under-21 group, you know, that Kit used to take, really. So both groups had big numbers. We found ourselves having less players at the minute. Uh, so we've come together as one just to make sure that uh, neither of the groups are diluting. It's worked really well, to be honest. We've just had to uh, keep our eye on the loading of training sometimes just because uh, we play on different times. But, uh, yeah, it's worked really well. You had a very successful group last time around, Premier League champions, Dallas Cup winners and FA Youth Cup finalists. They've set a high standard for this academy. Yeah, they did, which was great. And, um, you know, but even more important, quite a few of them got in the first team, so uh, which is the priority, which, uh, you know, we can't forget. So that's what we're working to again. We're working to be the very best we can be. Um, we set our standards high, nothing's changed. Um, We've had some good performances this year, then we had a little indifferent spell where I thought we were actually playing well, but not winning games in the last couple of weeks we've come back to form. But what has pleased me, you know, we, we've, we've got three or four players in the group that, that have got a real good chance, um, and I'm sure others will, will rise uh, to the top as well. So, um, yeah, you know, we set the standard high, but, you know, let's reach for the stars. We've seen from the last two games, we've scored 11 goals in those two matches, so it's certainly something going right on the field anyway. Yeah, well, we had a little spell where we weren't, um, you know, and we kept letting goals in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, we played West Ham three weeks ago and I felt that was the only poor performance we'd had. Um, and I was a little bit worried then, I thought, because we've been playing quite well and not, you know, drawing or not winning. And then all of a sudden I felt somebody was going to come on the, you know, the wrong, wrong end of a good score. And it, and it was Leicester. And we followed that up on Saturday against a very good Tottenham side. And, um, but the most, as I've said to you, the most important thing is individual performances within the team. And um, the only thing I ever really worry about is come every Saturday, I want to walk off the pitch and think, have I got the best two or three players on the pitch? And I'm pretty confident that 90, 95% of the time that's been the case. And if that continues, we'll be in a good place. We've seen some of these lads get involved with first team training already this season. And a lot of them are doubling up and playing some under-21s football as well. How good is that for their development? Yeah, I mean, it's great. As I said, we're, we're short on numbers at this end. Um, the one thing that Kit did, he gave people an opportunity to go and train up with them, which was great. Um, and obviously me and Peter have got a very good relationship here. And um, we're making sure people are promoted on, on merit. And also, you know, what's the best for their development. Um, but they're going to end up playing quite a lot of games this season. But they've been used to that in the past, because as you've said before, we've always been involved in things. And, you know, our under-18 group over the years have been used to playing, you know, nearly 60 games and things like that. So um, if we end up playing a lot of games again this season, it means that we're doing things right. And we have a few away at the moment on international duty. The fact they're receiving international recognition just states the, the standard that we have among some of the players here. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, that, that is a good sign. Um, you never like your players being away, um, but, you know, if it's for that reason, I can live with that if they're not available on a Saturday, uh, rather that than them being injured, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you, we're not in the Premier League now, um, so we have to make sure that A, we're developing players, show that players outside the football club that if you do come here you still get opportunities at international level whether it be for England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, Iceland, whatever um, and it's things like that we need to maintain to be honest because um, one of the challenges we, we will have and have had in the last year or so is keeping our best players in some of the younger age groups. Do you have any expectations this year for the for the season in terms of we have FA Youth Cup coming up as well is that something we'll aim to make a mark in? I've never set targets um, for any of the teams really what I want to be is very competitive every week um, I want a winning culture make no two ways about that because the one thing I've learned over the years that when I've had winning teams at youth development that's the teams that have produced players I think that goes hand in hand and I think it's very easy to hide behind oh it's all about development you know well let's develop a winning player and uh, no I, I as I've said to you the, the big target 
I want them all to improve. I want a bit of sit down at the end of the season and say, yeah, we've all made strides and we've improved as an individual within the team. And then I want to be sure that, you know, the people that I look at and I think, yeah, you're going to be a first team player, that they've made even greater improvement because that's the thing that you demand most. You demand most of your best players. So um, pretty pleased where we're at. Um, I think the club's got a good future again in youth development. You know, we had a bit of a blip last year. Um, but, uh, you know, I think the future is very bright, if I'm honest. It, it might take, um, as the, the crop that I had before in and around the first team now, um, you know, we've got to make sure that in another two years we're doing that again. You know, that we look at some of the players from here. They're making the same strides that the other boys did, like Musa and um, Pat Roberts and Emerson Iman, George Williams, you know, so uh, Carly Woodrow, you know, I could keep going actually, there's quite a few in there. Uh, no, so yeah, that, that's my main names.